Hello everyone, this is a video on the Demery Power Family Power Corporation, and some of Canada's globalist politicians, and why we bail out corporations. Um, in the screen here is a video by Q Point Assembly on the, on the Demery and the Maurice Strong, who used to run Power Corp. It's a great video, do check it out. Uh, Rebel Media as well did a video on Demery family and their connections to Canadian politicians. Again, please check it out. Um, John Ray, who's the brother of Bob Ray, oh, Bob Ray being the Ontario Premier, worked at Power Corp for many years. Um, Paul Demery Sr. used to run the com he's company, he's now deceased, and Brian Mulroney was his lawyer for many years. Pierre Baudouin, who's the chairman of Bombardier, sits on the as a board of directors for Power Corp. Yeah. Could be why we bail out Bombardier. And Anthony Graham, the West is the vice chairman of Winning Ham Investments Limited, which happens to own Weston Loblaws Group. Graham also sits on the Power Corporation Board of Directors. Helen Demery is the who's the wife of Paul Demery Jr. is the chair of the Montreal Economic Institute. So, a lot of interesting connections there. The Demery family uh, also sits on the Trilateral Commission, which is a globalist trade group which wants to, to regulate commerce in the Americas, Europe, and the Asia-Pacific Rim. Some of the members on the Trilateral Commission include Rona Ambrose, Jean Charest, Raymond Kretchen, Gary Dewar, Bill Graham, Peter Harder, Colin Kenny, Stephanie Cusey, Helen Lavadier, Andrew Leslie, Jean Manley, Carol Taylor, and Yun Pao Wu. And Scott Bryson is a former member. Power Corp's Board of Directors, and you can check the link. Pierre Bondouin, who's Bombardier Chairman. Marcel Couteau, Saint Crude President. Andre Demeray, the son-in-law of ex-Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. Paul Demery Jr., Andre's brother, Gary Dewar, the ex-Manitoba Premier, Anthony Graham, the director of Whittington, the principal holding company of Weston Loblaws, J. David A. Jackson, Great West Life, Isabel Marco, Board of Transcontinental Incorporated, Christian Neuer, General Counsel of European Bank, Governor of the Banque de France, R. Jeffrey Orr, uh, BMO and Life Insurance Companies, T. Timothy Ryan, J.P. Morgan and Chase, Imoke J. E. Jadmare, International Institute for Sustainable Development, the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation, the Prime Minister's Advisory Committee on Science and Technology. Now, what is Power Corp? According to their profile, Incorporated in 1925, Power Corporation is an international management and holding company that focuses on financial services in North America, Europe, and Asia. Its core holdings are leading insurance, retirement, wealth management, investment businesses, including a portfolio of adv advice, asset investment platforms. So financial services, basically. Um, fun facts about the Bombardier bailouts. We bailed out in 2016 to the tune of $1 billion and a $372 million quote-unquote loan in 2017, which the Bombardier executives used part of to increase their bonuses. And this is from the Fraser Institute, which admittedly is Coke-funded. Bombardier Inc., which receives, which recently announced it would lay off 1,700 people, has been one chronic seeker and regular recipient of such taxpayer assistance. The Montreal-based aerospace company is thus a useful example of corporate welfare in action. The tax dollars at stake and the regular inflated claims about the financial benefits of the subsidies. Bombardier's corporate welfare began, at least federally, in 1966 when it received its first disbursement of $35 million from the Federal Department of Industry Canada. In the decades since, various 
Bombardier iterations have received over 1.1 billion all figures adjusted for inflation in 48 separate disbursements from just Industry Canada. That includes two ch 2009 checks worth $233 million. So, connecting the dots. The Demry family owns Power Corp. Andre Demry is on the board of directors. Andre Demry is the son-in-law of XPM Jean Chrétien. Many Canadian politicians are connected to Power Corp and to Demry. Pierre Baudouin is also a Power Corp director. Baudouin doubles as the chairman of Bombardier. Baudouin is in position to have the Canadian government bail out Bombardier whenever needed. He also increases his own bonuses. Bombardier is repeatedly bailed out. Baudouin cashes in from these bailouts. Now about those Loblaws bailouts. Um, Anthony Graham is on the Power Corp board of directors. Graham doubles as the vice chairman of Woodington Investments, which owns Loblaws. Graham is in position to have the Canadian government bail out Loblaws. And I'm not sure how much his bonus is. From a CBC article, this is regarding Paul Demery's senior's death. Mulroney said he felt confident that Demery died knowing he had led a productive life and made a re remarkable contribution to this country. He was a close and pr intimate friend of mine for 48 years, Mulroney said. I feel very sad, but I feel very happy for a life really well lived. Paul's life was unconventional because it really was a love story for his wife, his kids, and his country. Demaray and Jean Chrétien. Andre Demaray is currently Deputy Chairman, President, and Co-Chief Executive Officer of the company his father took control of in 1968, Power Corporation, based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He married France Chrétien Demaray, the daughter of former Prime Minister of Canada, Jean Chrétien, on May 23, 1981. They have four children. Demaray and Paul Martin. Martin began his career as a special assistant to Paul Demaray, a friend of his father's and a man often referred to as Canada's wealthiest citizen. Demaray was a force behind the creation of Power Corporation, an immense conglomerate with stakes in the pulp and paper industry, the media, public transport, and insurance services. By 1969, Martin had risen to a vice presidency at the Montreal-based giant, and four years later, Demaray put him in charge of one of its subsidiaries, Canada Steamship Lines Limited. And Martin, in 1981, he, Martin and a business partner bought CSL for $116 million. Demaray's influence at his death. Four Canadian Prime Ministers, a former French President, and five Quebec Premiers were among those who attended the tribute to the late business tycoon at the Notre Dame Basilia. Prime Minister Stephen Harper remembered Demaray as a humble and generous man who's passionate about Canada. The Financial Post reports Tuesday's crowd also included Quebec Premier Pauline Marois and predecessors Daniel Johnson, Lucien Bouchard, Bernard Landry, and Jean Charest. Also present were ex media mogul Conrad Black, former Bombardier President Laurent Baudouin, ex Bloc Quebecois leader Gilles Duceppe, former Liberal leader Jean from Liberal leader Bob Ray and his successor Justin Trudeau. And Demaray and the Montreal Economic Institute. Well, um, Paul's Jr.'s wife Helen is now in charge. They have a, in 2005, they got a new executive vice president named Maxime Bernier, who left the next year to go into politics. Interesting note, Bernier became industry minister soon afterwards and helped bail out Bombardier. And while it's, it's difficult to prove, it seem, looks almost certain that corruption played a role in Canadian taxpayers having to bail out two companies, Bombardier and Loblaws. Like the connections between the Demery family and these companies are very obvious and... It's corruption and cronyism that we do these things. Demaray linked to Air Canada 
Agenda 2030 and Trudeau Foundation. Sounds absurd, but bear with me. Um, a former Manitoba Premier, Gary Dewar, replaces former Saskatchewan Premier Rory Romano on the Air Canada Board of Directors. I guess they just have to have a Premier. The Trilateral Commission, which Dewar and Andre Demery both have seats, that's essentially global, the organization that wants to regulate global commerce and trade. Imoki J. E. Shadmeri is a director on the International Institute for Sustainable Development, the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation, and the Prime Minister's Advisory Committee on Science and Technology. She's also a director at Power Corp. And from last time, Pierre Baudouin is a chairman of Bombardier, also a director at Power Corp. <coughs> Anthony Graham is the vice chairman, actually I think he's the president now, of Winnington Investments, which owns Loblaws. He's a director at Power Corp too. Power Corp in Air Canada. It's an article from the Globe and Mail about Roy Romano joining the Air Canada board in 2010. And in 2018, he was replaced by Roy Romano and Air Canada Board of Directors. So two NDP premiers. And interestingly, John Ray, the brother of ex-Ontario Premier Bob Ray, was a long-term Power Corp employee. So we have three former NDP premiers, Roy Romano in Saskatchewan, Kerry Dewar in Manitoba, and Bob Ray in Ontario, who have these types of connections. It's interesting. And in 2016, Air Canada placed an order for 45 CS 300 airlines, which Bombardier got the got the contract to build, which is interesting because Bombardier doesn't really build much. Power Corp and Agenda 2030. Now, uh, so not only is this woman on both the Trudeau Foundation and the Power Corp, the Trudeau Foundation also has some other interesting ties back, tie backs. The International Institute for Sustainable Development is an independent think tank champion sustainable solutions to 21st century problems. Our mission is to promote human development inter environmental sustainability. Our big picture views allows us to address the root causes of some of the greatest challenges facing our planet today. Ecological destruction, social exclusion, unfair laws, and economic rules, a changing climate. Through research and analysis and knowledge sharing, we identify and champion sustainable solutions that make a difference. We report on international negotiations, conduct rigorous research, and engage citizens, businesses, and policymakers on a shared goal of developing sustainably. And the IISD also reports, on June 25, 2019, G20 governments have more than doubled the amount of financial support they provide to coal power plants in just three years, despite pledging a decade ago to phase out subsidies to all fossil fuels to help prevent catastrophic climate change. Yeah, I guess the rhetoric, the actions don't really match the rhetoric. Um, Edward Johnson is both vice chair of the board of Trudeau Foundation and is formerly the vice president and general counsel for Power Corporation. Um, an interesting one I found here. Um, Oliver Demery is a senior vice president for Power Corp. That's no surprise. But where he did his articling is a now defunct firm called Heen and Blakey. It's the same one where Jean Chrétien and Pierre P Trudeau both worked at. Um, Bruce McNevin, who's a director at the Trudeau Foundation, also worked at Heenan Blakey. Megan Leslie is a former op deputy opposition leader in the House of Commons for the NDP. She's a director at the Trudeau Foundation and is also a senior consultant on oceans governance for World Wildlife Canada. 
That's the same organization Gerald Butts works for. Asima Momani is another director of the Trudeau Foundation. She covers Arab Canadians and transnationalism issues. Uh, Mark Renault is another Trudeau Foundation director who served as an advisor for UNESCO, the OECD, the European Union, and the EU is, you probably know, is our little project to to eliminate individual nations and just have the European community. Also worth a mention is Alexander Trudeau, Justin's jihad sympathizing brother, as a founding member of the Trudeau Foundation, although it could be an honorary title. Um, although the page has been deleted, Roy Romano, yes, that Roy Romano, as a member, well, member of the Trudeau Foundation. David Johnson, former Governor General, yeah. a member of the Trudeau Foundation, but that page has been deleted as well. The Trudeau Foundation cites four important areas, human rights and dignity, responsible citizenship, Canada and the world, people and their natural environment. They claim to be involved in researching but subscribe to, subscribe to their newsletter if you like. It's free. So just a glance at Power Corp and their tentacles. You have five prime ministers at least. Pierre Trudeau, Brian Mulroney, Jean Chrétien, Paul Martin, Justin Trudeau. And among other politicians you have uh, Maxim Bernier, Peter McKay, Roy Romano, Gary Dewar, Bob Bray, Jean Charlet, Dennis Coderre. Pauline Marois, and Megan Leslie, and to name a few companies they influence, Bombardier, Western Loblaws, Montreal Economic Institute, Canada Steamship Alliance, Air Canada, International Institute for Sustainable Development, and the Trudeau Foundation. So, would Bombardier be getting bailouts if Pierre Baudin was not on Power Corp's chief board of directors? Would Loblaws have gotten their $12 million bailout for fridges if Anthony Graham was not a Power Corp board of directors, would Air Canada have gotten bailouts if not having if not for having former premiers as directors? And just one last one I want to look at is um, Bombardier in a bit more detail. Pierre Baudouin, chairman of Bombardier, director at Power Corp. Uh, going on the lobbying commissioner's website, Bombardier has been very busy. There are 809 communications reports filed. Um, Baudouin himself has done 18 of them. So, and it's lobbying across parties. Um, grant details, or subject matter details. Grant, contribution, or other financial benefit. Obtains financial support from Canada with respect to various research and development initiatives. Obtain financial support from Industry Canada under the Strategic Aerospace and Defense Initiative, which this translates bailouts, handouts, grant, contribution, or other financial benefit policies or program, management of ongoing projects related to various research and development initiatives. Again, bailouts. They lobby for this. And who do they lobby? Well, the Bank of Canada, Canada Revenue Agency, Finance Canada, Export Development Canada, Global Affairs Canada, the House of Commons, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, maybe they want foreign or cheap foreign workers, Infrastructure Canada, Innovation Science and Economic Development Canada, National Defense, National Research Canada, sorry, National Research Council, Prime Minister's Office, Privy Council's Office, Public Safety Canada, Transport Canada, and the Treasury Board. Hmm. Anthony Graham, Director for Bombardier for Power Corp. So he's much the same position as Pierre Baudouin. Baudouin donates to both the Liberals and the Conservatives, so he, he plays both sides. So no matter who wins, he's guaranteed access. National Post did a great article, but I wish they'd published all their findings. 
though an interesting quote in there. People who max out their individual donations to both parties are hedging their bets ahead of the fall election, according to Duff Conacher, the head of Democracy Watch and Ethics Watchdog. With those donations, they are at least able to buy access to the top people in the parties, and like having that access gives them a chance to have influence over the decisions. And the National Post, they're, they're not wrong. Um, just a partial screenshot of the 2018 donations. Baudouin did donate to both the Conservatives and the Liberals on January 25th, 2018. I wish they published all the findings, but anyway. Going on the Elections Canada website, Baudouin has a history of playing both sides. Um, in 2019, he donated $1,600 to both the Liberals and the Conservative parties. In 2017, he donated 1550 to both the Liberals and the Conservatives. In 2016, he donated 1500 to both the Liberals and the Conservatives. In 2015, he donated $1,500 to both the Liberals and the Conservatives. Do you notice a pattern here? Now, I looked up Pierre Poudouin. There's multiple addresses listed, so I'm not sure that it's all him. But just under one address with... The postal code H3Y1KH. You can see 2006 donated to both liberals and conservatives, 2008, 2009, 2013, 2014, and donations from the Demery family. And just for curiosity, I looked up Helen Demery, Paul Jr.'s wife. In 2004, she donated $5,000 to both the liberals and the conservatives. 2005, she donated $5,000 to both the Liberals and the Conservatives. Do you notice a pattern here? And I listed all of her donations that I could find. Interestingly, she donated to Maxim Bernier twice and four times to the Boast Riding Association. Demery and Baudouin are both big donors. The Demerys have, over the years, this is according to a Globe and Mail article, given 190,000 to the liberals and 100,000 to the conservatives so they get influence no matter who wins the Laurent Baudouin and the Bombardier family 132,000 to the liberals 81,000 to the conservatives so who wins the election doesn't really matter in that sense National Post did an article about a business trip that Baudouin and several other ex executives like corporate leaders, so-called corporate leaders, took with Stephen Harper to China to promote businesses. It's good to be connected. The real reason Maxim Bernier bailed out Bombardier, this is a guy who claims, cl claims that he's against corporate welfare, but he gave Bombardier $262 million. This might be why. Pierre Baudouin, both with Bombardier and Power Corp., the heads, the heads of Power Corp are Andre and Paul Demery, Paul, the two brothers. Paul, Paul Jr.'s wife, Helen, sits as the chair of the Montreal Economic Institute. And Maxime Bernier worked for MEI immediately before getting into politics. So one legitimately has to wonder, was he paying back any favors when he arranged for this bailout to happen and to think that he has nothing to, that you know Helen Demery doesn't show any interest in him well she donated four times to his writing association in Bose and donated twice to him personally and to connect the dots Bombardier Ch Chairman Pierre Baudouin works for Paul Demery Jr. who's married to Helen Demery who runs the Montreal Economic Institute, which employed Bernier, who became the industry minister, who has the power to hand out taxpayer money. And this was from Global News, Bombardier executives pocket bailout money. The heads of Bombardier, including Baudouin, used a portion of the taxpayer bailout to increase their own salary and bonuses. Yeah, because that's that's really why we're paying them. 
political connections equals bailouts. Now, taxpayers are understandably upset that we keep bailing out companies like Bombardier. But what you have to understand is it's because of the connections they have to the people in power. You know, this is not some random thing. It's not incompetence. It's not, you know, just, you know, well-intentioned people. This is flat-out corruption and cronyism. And this really needs to stop. And to be honest, I think a lot of these people should be in jail for defrauding the public. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment. Thank you.